Our last big decimal topic that we will discuss is rounding decimals to the nearest place value. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to think about this. Um, the first thing is we've got our two decimals here. I've got three and 42 hundredths. Okay, it stops in the hundredths place. I want to round this to the nearest tenth. So on both examples here, uh, I'm just going to start by underlining the tenths place. Okay. This is the last number that I should have in the, pro in the problem after I round. I shouldn't have anything after the tenths place. Nothing after the tenths place. So here's a couple ways to think about it. The first thing is I've drawn some pictures here as far as four tenths. Tenths are those flat pieces. So I drew those on there and I've got two hundredths. The question to ask yourself is uh, if I want to round to the nearest tenth, would the nearest tenth be the tenth that I have right now, four tenths, or would I be closer to taking these hundredths and making another tenth? And the answer to that question is, I am closer to the tenths that I already have. I only have two of these, and I need ten to make another flat piece. Uh, so I'm much closer to just what I have to start with than going up to the next one. So my answer to this problem is just going to stay 3 and 4 tenths. Now, the way that you're probably more used to uh, with whole numbers and things like that is looking at the place value that you want to do. We want to do tenths and then looking at the number to the right of it. Okay. And probably the rule that you've used before is uh, if it's 5 or above, you're going to round that number up. Uh, if it's less than 5, we're going to keep it the same. So that's kind of a rule that you should probably write down that most of you probably already know, but just to make sure. Uh, if we're 5 or above, we're going to round up. Uh, if we're 4 or below, we're going to keep it the same. So in this case, if I look over here, uh, I've got two hundredths. Okay, two is in the four below column, so that means I'm going to keep this number exactly the same. So my answer to this one is going to be three and four tenths. I cut off everything after the tenths place. Whatever I round to, that's where I stop. All right, we are going to take 42 and 37 thousandths uh, and round it to the hundredths place. So I'm going to start by underlining the hundredths place in both of these. If I look up here at this example, uh, basically what I have here is I've got three hundredths, which would be three of the sticks. Uh, if I look to the right, I've got seven thousandths, which is going to be seven of those little tiny pieces. We talked about how ten of these little tiny pieces would make another stick, or ten of these little tiny pieces will make another hundredth. So if my question I'm trying to figure out is, do I keep this the same because I'm closest to three of these, or can I put these together and get pretty close to a fourth one of these? And my answer would be, I should round this up to four because I've got seven of these. If I just had three more, uh, I would be able to round this up to four, uh, or it would become four. So I'm closer to having four of these than having the three that I have. So my final answer would be 42.04, 42 and four hundredths. Now, if I look at the other way here, I'm going to underline my hundredths place because that's what I'm rounding to. I'm going to look to the right. That 7 is 5 or above, so that tells me to round the number up. So this number becomes a 4. Um, these numbers are all going to stay the same. And I cut it off after the hundreds place. I don't want anything else after the hundreds place. So my answer is 42 and 4 hundredths. All right, for this one, we're going to round to the nearest whole number here. Okay. So if I look at the first example and the second example here, I'm going to underline what's the whole number here. And the whole number here is zero. We don't have any whole numbers for this problem. So let's start with the first one here. 
if I'm rounding to this place, I need to look at the one to the right and see if I can either make another one of these or if I just need to keep it how it is. I'm looking here and in my tenths place, my six tenths, I've got six of the flat pieces. If you remember when we worked on this before, you should have 10 of these flat pieces would make our big cube. Remember, it's always 10 of these would make these, 10 of these would make these, 10 of these would make these. It's always 10. Okay. Uh, so if 10 of these flat pieces would make another cube, am I closest to making another cube, or am I closest to what I have right now, which is nothing? My answer would be I am closest to making another cube. I have six of these, which means I would need four more uh, to make a cube. Uh, so my answer to this one is, I'm going to take these and I'm going to round that up. So my answer to this is just going to be one whole. If I look down at this example right here, I've underlined my hundreds place, or my whole number place, excuse me, and I need to look over at the tenths. Okay? If I look over the tenths, remember my rule that I use is five or above, I'm going to round the underlined place up. Uh, if it's below five, four or below, I'm going to keep it the same. My number is six right here, which means I need to round this up. That's going to be one, and then everything after it, I just drop off. So my final answer is just going to be one whole. All right, this one's going to wind up being kind of a specialty example here. Okay, a specialty example, and you'll see why in a second. We're going to round to the hundreds place. <coughs> So the hundreds place in this problem would be the nine there. That would be the hundreds place in, and the whole number, by the way, reads 14 and 397 thousandths. This is our hundreds place, and this is our hundreds place. So let's look at our example up here. Uh, I need to look to the one to the right to see if we can make another hundredth or if I'm closest to just keeping what I have. So I notice here that I have seven of these thousandths. Remember correctly, it takes 10 of these thousands to make another one of these. So I am closer to making another one of these. So I'm going to need to round this up. Here's the problem. I've got a 9 here. So basically, I can't write a 10 in here. So what I'm going to have to do is, uh, this is going to be 0, and then this next one is going to have to go up to 4. Okay? And kind of how that works is, um, and then when I write it, by the way, it's going to be 14.40 because I want to cut it off after the hundreds place. Okay? If I took these and almost made another one of these, now if you think about it, I'm full of these. I've got 10 of these, which would make another one of these down the line. So my answer to this one would be 14 uh, and 40 hundredths. If I look down here, I've got the 9. I'm looking over at the 7. Do I round it up or do I keep it the same? It's 5 or above here, so I need to round this up. So my 9 is going to become 10, but we can't write a 10 in there, so we have to put a 0, and then we have to round the next number up, which is going to be a 4. So we have 14 and 40 hundredths. All right, here are your six examples that you are going to try to kind of prove to yourself whether you know what you're doing or not. Okay? If you have questions on any of these, please make sure that you ask. Give them an attempt. Um, keep in mind the rules here. Underline the place value that we want to round to. Look to the right of that number. If it's 5 or above, we round it up. If it's 4 or below, we keep it the same. Uh, everything after that place value, we cut off. We don't want everything to the left of the place value we want to keep there. Okay, Give these a try and then come back to the video and see how you did. Alright, let's try these and just to see how you did here. Okay, uh, Let's start with this one. We've got 8 and 74 hundredths. We need to round this to the tenths place. Okay, Underline the tenths place look to the right. Okay, That is a 4. 4 or below we keep the same. Uh, so we want to cut the number off right here and we're going to keep the underlying number the same. So my answer would be 8 
and 7 tenths. If I look at the next one, we again have 8 and 74 hundredths. I want to round it to the nearest whole number. So I need to underline the whole number place right here, and I need to look to the right. That is a 5 or above, so I'm going to round up. I want to cut it off after the whole number place, uh, and when I round that up, that becomes 9 holes, and 9 holes would be our answer for that. If I look at the bottom one in this column, 8 and 74 hundredths again, and I'm rounding that to the hundredths place. Okay. So I need to look at the number to the right, which there is nothing there. But you have to think, what would be there? And there's definitely going to be a zero there. Okay. Uh, so if I look at this, that zero is going to tell me to keep it the same. So my number is actually exactly the same as what it started as, 8 and 74 hundredths. All right, let's go to the top here. Okay. I've got 104 and 973 thousandths. Okay. I'm going to start by rounding it to the hundredths place. Okay, I need to look to the right. That tells me in that thousands place that's below four, or it's below five, uh, so I need to keep this number the same. So I'm going to cut it off right there, and my answer is going to be 104 and 97 hundredths. All right, now if we go to the same number, 104 and 973 thousandths, uh, I need to underline the tenths place. Tenths place right here. I'm going to look over to the 7. That's going to tell me that I need to round up. So I want to cut the number off right here. My problem for this one is when I round up, that's going to become a 0. So I need to round up the next number because I can't stick a 10 in there. Okay. If I round up the next number, it's going to be 5, and then I just keep the rest of them. So my answer is really 105 and no tenths, or if you want to write it, you can just write it 105 because that's what basically it is. If you don't have any tenths, then there's really no reason to put that zero there. Okay. Last, 104 and 973 thousandths, we're going to round that to the nearest whole number. Now this whole thing is basically the nearest whole number right here. 104 is a whole number, so I need to round it. I need to look over at my tenths place, uh, and it is a 9, which is going to tell me to round it up or bump it up. So I'm going to cut it off right there. 104 is going to round up to 105.